guys welcome back to my channel this is Shanika and today I will be unboxing another clothing subscription in my pretty pink bag this subscription is from Nadine West she also is um, a clothing subscription like the one I did before but she's supposed to be cheaper with more affordable prices so let's get open have my trusted tool with me and these bags will be hard to get into. Right. Now, this is my second bag from Nadine West. So, let's see how many bundles I have today. That's one. Oh, looks like I got three this go round. I know she usually sends four to five items, but my last bag and this bag, I seem to get up to nine items. Oh, there's something good in it. Nice color, and that's a little jewelry bag, so I see I must got some jewelry in here. Now, Nadine West and I have a very funny relationship because my very first subscription she seemed to charge me for an item I did not keep. It was lost in the mail, so I decided to give them another try because they um, promised to refund me my money um, or give me a credit on some clothing is what she did. So let's see. Oh, and, um, and for whatever items you don't want to keep, she actually sends you a prepaid mailing address and whatever you just put right back in the same bag stick this over let me show you stick this over here just like that and drop it off at your nearest post office all right let's try bundle number one let's try to get the one with the jewelry so we can go ahead and get that out of the way so i won't drop it or break it okay this looks like a bracelet Dainty bracelet, very pretty. Looks like gold and pearls. Put it right back in the bag and put it over to the side. Yeah, next one is a pair of heart-shaped gold earrings. Not really my style, so those may be going back. See some colorful earrings, look like tassel earrings. These are different, but not really my style. Can you see the pearl tip? I don't know how I see about those because those are different. I have one more jewelry bag, so I got four pieces of jewelry this time. Okay, this is a hot mess. <laughs> okay, it's tangled. So maybe I will come back and work on that. But it looks like... Okay, I got it. Well, it's uneven, but you guys will get the picture. Three, like a disc here, cubic zirconia here, then a wishbone here. It's pretty. Let's see if I can get it untangled. Okay, on to the clothes. Um, these are bottoms. More like, I want to say joggers, but they ain't more jogging pants. You do have pockets, and you guys know I love my pockets. And these are from Heart and Hips Plush Sweater Knit. Burgundy. It has a drawstring tie. Depends on the price if I'm going to actually purchase those. Dragon pants or not. Um. Oh, 
Okay. This shirt. Long sleeves, but the shoulders would be out. It's a pretty color. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a pink and some black, almost like a, a ash type color. Let me see. And this is, okay, about the same people, heart and hips. And small. Soft though, really soft, both these pieces. I know Nadine West, we, you know, some of their clothing are not my style, but she does find the softest materials. This is a hoodie. Looks big though. Let me see what size this is. Okay, this is a small, and this is also by Heart and Hips. Yeah, that looks really big. So we will see. I will know more when I try it on because some items just look big and then they fit perfect once you try them on. All right, this is my last bundle. And I see two pieces. This is a pretty pink, pink almost a blush color. Very pretty pink. Okay, it's a cardigan. Let me see if I can hold it up correctly so you guys can get a good look. All right. And this is by Popular 21. I like this. It's kind of thin, but it'll be good for spring. You can't really see through it, but it is made of thin material. So I can't wait to try this on because I love my cardigans. And the last piece, I have no idea what this is. Um, and if you hear someone laughing in the background, that's just my daughter. She's home from college. And I'm assuming she don't know what this is either. But I will try it on. It looks like some short pant. Capris? Maybe, but they flare, so we will see how they look. And these are from, I don't know if this is Shosho or Show Show. We're going with Show Show. I don't know if y'all can really see that. That might be a little weird coming on the cameras. And it has a little top front. We will see, because I, I have such a small waist, and I usually need belt loops in my bottoms, or at least a good drawstring. All right, I'll be right back to try these items on. All right, this is the Miley Cardigan in Dusty Rose. I like how it cascades down and, for, and I have long arms so I need things that have long sleeves and these are perfect. Not too long, not too short, long in the back. I like this. I think this is going to be a keeper depending upon the price and it feels good. Lightweight, good for the spring. All right, on to the next piece. All right, I tried on this um, cold shoulder top for the second time. I had the crisscross in the front. You can about imagine how that looked, but now they're in the back. I think it's a very nice shirt. I just don't know if I'm comfortable enough showing off my back. But I like the length. It's very soft. And again, the sleeves are long enough. The coat shoulder top is good for spring. And I love the fit. Not too fitted, but just right. 
All right, on to the next. I can tell by my daughter's face when I tried this on that this is not it. And I can agree with her. It's just so ill-fitting. Seems like the bottom has been stretched out. So, I'm not even going to stay in this. It's a no. I was going to try on these joggers. They're called Soft and Chill in Burgundy. But my daughter beat me to it. So tell them how they feel on. Oh, they super soft. <laughs> I like them. I like them. It's like you got enough room to breathe in them. Um, they're like perfect for like midnight runs to like McDonald's or something. <laughs> Did you really put on that book bag for a prop? Yeah, they like it. <laughs> I was trying to go like I was in like a magazine catalog or something. Okay. <laughs> Dear. They're yours. Alright, this is the last clothing item. And I dressed these up in some heels, a cardigan, and a white tee I already owned. And surprisingly, dressing them up, they actually look pretty cute, I think. And they're black and white, and they have some purple or light purple lavender color in them. I also layered it with the three layered luck charm necklace and gold with it that I know I'm keeping not so sure about the bottoms just yet all right I'm back let's talk about these pricings the sporty hoodie and turquoise here it's $26.99. I will not be keeping that. It was just so ill-fitting. The neck was out of shape. The bottom was out of shape. The next is the Sherry Pink. And this is this really pink cardigan. Pretty. I like how soft it was. And I love cardigan. So I will be keeping this. So I'm going to set that one to the side. This one, oh, and the pink cardigan was also $26.99. This Miley and Dusty Rose top was cute. The cold shoulder with these crisscross in the back. I thought it was pretty and actually kind of sexy, but I'm not all that comfortable with my back being out. And that was $20.99 which is a decent price. I pay about that much for my shirts, but I won't be keeping that. That's on the go back pile. Next is the soft and chill and burgundy. <laughs> my daughter took those over, so I'll be keeping those. And that they are $33.99. The next one is the Lindsay floral bottom. I won't be keeping those. And those are $11.99. That's a good price. The Elise Gold Earring. These, the heart-shaped ones. I won't be keeping those. $13.99. The next are the Pearl with Tassel in Multicolor. They're also $9.99. That's actually the cheapest thing in my bag. The Layer Look Go. Woo! Uh, I'm going to have to decide about this. This is $24.99. I don't know if it's worth $24.99. I don't pay that much for costume jewelry, even though it's really pretty. So I'm going to think hard about that. And the last item is the Marika Gold Bracelet, $12.19. This I will keep. This is really pretty. Dainty. And it fits, and my wrist is kind of small, and I can't find too much jewelry that will actually fit and not be all the way up my forearm. So that is nice, and I'm going to keep those. Now, Nadine do owe me $33.77 due to a lash package I had that she charged me for an item I did not keep. So I will be using that. Also, it's a $9.78, mm, I'm sorry, a $9.78 shipping 
fee and that also will go towards any items that I decide to buy. So guys, I got to make some decisions and I will see you next time. Thank you.